Hey everyone, this is the Noblars here, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my fire squad. So, for those who were with me at the beginning of my channel, or my old channel that got deleted, you guys would have seen this video that I made probably three or four years ago about the fire squad. Um, it was my first um, clone squad. Technically, my rebels were my first actual squad of five. Um, so I decided to uh, redo this video. I know I showed them in one of my videos where I had a bunch of my old figures. And... Um, I unfortunately am not going to be able to sell these right now because I'm going to try to remake them. Um, a lot of people keep asking me uh, if they want to buy them, so I'm going to hold on to them so I could, um, I guess, have them as an example so I can remake them. Um, these figures are awesome, and I'm not going to, I'm trying to decide if I actually want to change them or just make them with like my newer style. I'm um, not too sure yet. So, <clears throat> sorry. Um, yeah, this video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to try to uh, do a little review on each one and kind of show you guys what they are. Now, I couldn't find my old video. I would have posted that, unfortunately, um, because I do remember giving them names because they were fire squads. So each one had like their own cool name, um, and I can't remember um, what they were. I could, I can guess, I, but uh, I don't want to butcher it, and you guys can just use your imagination. Um, or if you remember what they were, that's awesome. Let me know in the description. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get this video started, and I will... Start uh, right to left, so I will scoot these guys back just a little bit so I can have some more room. Um, but yes, I will start with the, uh, this was the actual first one that I made. This is the, I guess the standard soldier. He, he's like the rifleman of the squad. Um, if there were going to be more characters, it would probably be simple like this guy. Um, I'll hit the weapon on his hand. Every squad that I make, there's usually like the rifleman who's kind of, not like the simple guy, but it's just, he's not really generic, he doesn't have anything super special. He's not a flamethrower guy or heavy gunner or a sniper, he's he's the rifleman. So, I mean, he has his, he plays his part, but um, as far as what they have, they're fairly simple. So, yeah, this was the first one that I made. Um, I had no intentions of making a squad until I made this one, but um, they all have the same color scheme. Uh, little variations in the armor, but it's maroon and white, and I have a white stripe going down. Uh, the armor you can see on the arms and then the chest is kind of a... You'll see it better than some of the other ones because it's just... There's more to go down. Um, but yes, this is definitely my older style. I do not use fabric for the uh, the piece right here underneath the knee pad. Um, I use fabric now because it actually is fabric um, in the clone. So this is actually painted on. Uh, I have a different style for the ammo belt. It's it still pops out, it's still raised, as you can see right there. Um, it's just a single piece, um, painted twice. So, i got the knee pads, and then the center piece, and then I have six on the um, belt right here. Sometimes it depends on what piece I'm using or what material. Um, if I want to add stuff, there might be six, there might be four. Um, some of my newer guys only have four, but it depends on the size. <clears throat> Sorry. So, and then I also painted the chest, which I didn't do a whole lot of painting the chest because I usually had like bandoliers or something going across it and a lot of clones just I never got around to it so I don't actually use it with metal but um, I might go back to painting uh, on the chest because it just adds more color and more detail to the figure that and if they had armor like this and the colors I know a lot of the clones in the Clone Wars they only have markings on their helmet and their arms and stuff like that um, but I do like the way it looks on the chest I haven't done a, a review on this figure yet but um, this is one of my newer clones that has it um, on the chest and I think it looks really well so some of the customs that I make on my own, like this, I'm not copying a picture, will probably have uh, chest painting. Anyway, moving on to the arms. He has three pieces on the arms and then obviously the white stripe um, scheme going down there. Again, this is my older style, so I just painted black up here um, and I did not paint the arms black, which is my newer style. Um, but it still looks really great on this figure. I have the neck guard. Um, a lot of my techniques I have still on this figure. Uh, painted the Kama. I was going to paint the other commas to kind of represent the characters um, and what they had, but I I just wanted to leave them how they were. I didn't want to get too technical with them. So my, I might do another one. If I do make another squad, I might do that. But um, very nice comma with this guy. And then, of course, the this is not a thermal detonator. This is a back-to-tank. Um, I got that from playing uh, Battlefront, the Star Wars game. Um, it looks just like this. It's a little cylinder. It has a, um, a blue... Uh, filament in there that I are clear. I just put a marker to it so it would shine or be see-through um, It's kind of their health, 
And this here is a big washer, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. I'm um, not a washer, I'm sorry, it's a bolt. Um, or nut, I'm sorry. I, I've, I've had a long morning and I can't get tools right, so it's going out of focus. Uh, but that's all that is. It's a very simple backpack. Um, I think I even mentioned that in my backpack tutorial. I don't know if I made a backpack tutorial, did I? Um, yes, I did. So um, that's pretty much this character. And then he has the antenna, which, or not the antenna, the uh, rangefinder, which I will probably get back into doing. And I will probably make a video, a tutorial, how to make the more complicated one that actually moves. Um, this guy doesn't want to focus anymore, so that's probably time for him to leave. Um, this is his gun. It's kind of like my newer style, but it have a metal sight on the front and then metal uh, iron sights. I'll back up a bit. Metal iron sights right there so you can actually look down it. Um, ah! And of course the, the clip off the side. It's a cool gun design. So that's uh, the gunner. Moving on to the flamethrower trooper. One of my faves. So this guy has, uh, if you couldn't tell by the chest, and I had to paint the helmet so you can't see that, but this is one of the clone gunner bodies. I thought that metal piece in the front of his chest would just add to the figure, um, give him more chest detail, and kind of make him look a little different from the rest, which I wanted. So again, he has the knee pads, the centerpiece, um, and he also has four different pieces on his belt. These are actually pieces of a, this is wood. I also use sometimes wood toothpicks and stuff like that. Uh, I just come to the same size, glued them on and painted them, they're like cylinders. They also look like really good size for like a shotgun shell. So if you're looking for something like that for ammo, I'm um, sorry, um, toothpicks work really well for that, they're a good size. Um, and then again, I painted a little bit of a chest up here. Um, moving on to the side, as you can see he's also, ah, I'm just going to smack up my tweet to be, sorry. Um, his arms are gray because he is a gunner, and I, again, I decided to leave that because I like the look of it. Um, these shorter pads are kind of crazy. <laughs> I like to do sometimes um, is make these really awesome shorter pads that just um, just completely customized. Uh, the theory behind this, these shorter pads, I kind of try to use some practicality with them. Um, they also kind of look like flames coming up, but they also protect his face from the heat. It's kind of like a heat shield um, just around his face. Also with the helmet, if you can see these two metal... Um, pads on his cheeks, just more um, insulation to keep him um, from the burn. So, very nice shorter pad, the same on the opposite side, like so. And then his helmet obviously has more maroon on it. I went and painted the whole top maroon, and then the front piece maroon, and then the two silver um, metal pieces that I attached. Moving on to the back, also not forgetting that he has a comma, which it's obvious I just got to point it out, made out of fabric. Um, the back is a very interesting backpack it is also very simple um, all I did is if you can tell already these are two guns I just took the longer style gun cut them in half I cut the stock off the barrel off the handle uh, glued those together and then I uh, put a piece of metal wrapping around it and then I just added another piece of metal as a base plate underneath and then I wrapped this um, thin kind of a wire piece around it and then I just painted some colors on it and made a, a tank for my flamethrower so these I guess represent the two different types of chemicals before they mix in. Um, and then right here, it's a, I actually had to remake this. I had the older one right here. It's It was kind of in disrepair and I wanted to make a new one because um, just kind of liven up the character. But this simple wiring, um, what I did was this is a toothpick. Um, so this piece actually does come out, but I don't want to pull it out because um, it's got a good snug fit and I want to keep it like that. But I just wrapped a piece of metal around one side of it and then I sized it to a toothpick um, and then I crimped it a little bit so it had more fit snug um, around there and then same thing with the gun, this awesome flamethrower, it attaches right here. So this is the same thing that happens to the other side, you can pull them both off if you want the wire to be free. But I did that so you can move the flamethrower um, around and then take it off because I don't want the gun stuck to the figure because nobody wants that because you can't play with it. Let go! Try not to pull it too hard. Ah! He just doesn't want to get rid of his weapon. Um, this is actually a Lego uh, spear gun. <laughs> For those who don't know what that is, I just had one laying around. I was like, hey, why not? And then the top piece right here is a piece of metal for that nice fin. And then that um, right there is the toothpick coming out. Ah, it's kind of to see hey, this stuff. Focus. Um, that toothpick piece is what connects the uh, the hose to the gun, and then of course I have the little cylinder right here where the chemicals um, 
or not the kiln, sorry, this right here is the flame source. That metal uh, casing right there. And then of course it's going to be fed through this metal piece. And then right there had the little metal flame painted. I'm not sure where you can see that in this light. And then of course this is where the gas will come out, ignited by that flame. Then bam, you got fire. So I'll put that back into his hand. He doesn't want to go and he doesn't want to grab it. What is wrong with you? And then this simply just connects back on there like so. And then that's my flamethrower. Flamethrower Trupa. Moving on to the uh, commander. Again, very simple design. Uh, same pieces of armor, same everything. Got the white stripe going down his armor. On his chest, he has the pauldron. This one actually made out of metal um, and fabric. Same design on the arms. I gave him a little communicator right here um, on each wrist because they com communicate with the uh, Jedi commanders. Uh, two Jango Fit. Fit <laughs> Django Fett style pistols, pistol holsters on either side, very nice. Um, and then, of course, he has the back to tank as well. Move on to the helmet, very simple design, it's pretty much the same as his design. Um, just that I gave him a custom, uh, I gave him a better rangefinder because he is a commander. Um, this is the one from Lego, but I cleaned it up and made it more uh, usable, not as clunky and big. and it's just, it's more sleek, it's a better design. Um, I may be making a tutorial on this one uh, in the future. Uh, very nice figure. Definitely going to be using this in more uh, customs, especially uh, more commanders and stuff. But this is probably one of the simpler ones, so I don't need to explain a lot about him. I will save the best for last, which is my heavy gunner, and I'll get on to the sniper. Um, this sniper rifle will most likely be the one that I'm going to be making for my uh, sniper pack that I'm going to be giving to the contest winners. Um, this video is going to be made in a couple of days in advance before you see it, so I don't, I'm not going to tell you what day I'm on now. Um, but when you see this, you'll know that this is the sniper rifle that um, is with the uh, the contest winners are going to get. Not this figure, but uh, the rifle will most likely be the same uh, style. So, same everything. <laughs> Guys, pretty much the only difference is for a lot of these is like their helmets and then a couple variations. So, Again, the same pieces of armor, um, and then this obviously is an ARF Trooper, so he's got a little more different designs right here because the ARF Trooper body had a different color scheme um, to start with. The white stripe theme going down the arms. I gave him one pistol because the sniper, you know, you're going to need a pistol, a backup weapon, and people get a little too close to you. Uh, again, uh, same color schemes going with that. The helmet is painted uh, mostly maroon. This is... I kind of have a color scheme that I go with my ARF Troopers and uh, I, st I stick with it because I like it. Uh, I got the white stripe on the top because it kind of goes down to the uh, chest, kind of continuing the theme. And then of course he has a back to tank as well. And then he has his epic backpack. Again, you guys, this is a very simple backpack design. Uh, this piece, I don't know what it's called, but I pulled it off some kind of circuit board and stuck it on as is. So there's not really anything new to this. It's, I mean, it looks cool because it has some color and depth and um, some texture to it, but it's one piece. And then I uh, glued this metal antenna right there um, on the back because the sniper is going to be far away from people he might need to communicate. Um, I didn't take his gun out of his hand first, which I should have, but I didn't. But this is his sniper rifle. Very nice design. Um, I like the flattened scope right there, how it's kind of a narrow slit. Um, a lot of the Star Wars sniper rifles have that, especially the droids. I know they have a, a scope similar to this. I don't know why it's not focusing, but focusing. Um, but uh, I hope you can see this. Very nice design. I like it. It has a strap, which you can put it over his shoulder if he so wishes to. Um, if you're just like posing the figure, it looks really nice. So that is my sniper. My camera is just like, I don't want to focus today. Last but not least, probably my, well, this is my favorite character, is my heavy gunner. Uh, this heavy gunner, this gun is made uh, by me. I use metal, uh, and I use uh, a lot of other pieces. I use some plastic, I use some other guns, uh, and just a lot of stuff glued together for the weapon. Um, I'm going to try to do this without taking the weapon out of his hand, if possible. I probably might need to, but it's comfortable where it's at, and I kind of want to leave it, but... From the waist down, he looks exactly like everybody else. He has the knee pads, the centerpiece, and all that's basically the same. And then he has his bandolier. And then I don't have any more of these, but I need to find some because they're awesome. But he has these little circuit board 
um, metal cylinders. I'm not sure what you can call them. They're grenades or some ammo, whatever. Not ammo, but um, that's left up to the imagination. It's just extra gear. And then, of course, he has his knife on his chest. His combat knife. I actually might need to move his hand so you can see that a little better. Go back. His ammo is gone. Okay. Whatever. You don't need to see that right now. Um, but yes, very nice knife design. I use this same design for my new squad. Um, my sniper has a knife on his leg, which looks really awesome. Um, his shoulder pads are bigger because he's probably going to be walking into uh, the fray. Uh, he doesn't have the other pieces of armor because his shoulder pads kind of cover most of his arm. Um, he's definitely going to be just out in front, just gunning down stuff with his heavy machine gun. Um, so he has these big shoulder pads. Moving on to the back, he has a, uh, oh now he's farther away, I'm moving closer. His backpack is pretty cool. Again, this is guns and um, this piece, this first piece is a gun. And then I just have some random pieces, just metal. And this is a, the same thing as the sniper has, just that a little bit smaller version of that. Just glued together, just, I mean, you just need to start gluing stuff together, people. That's all it is. And then just make it look somewhat symmetrical and then paint it and it looks awesome. And then here I have, I don't know where I found this. I had this spool of this, it's kind of like copper, it's like a mesh wiring. And I found this like little spool of it just laying on the ground. I, it was just like in a Walmart parking lot or it was a parking lot somewhere. And this stuff is so cool. It's metal, but it's, you can move it and bend it. And um, so I attached it to the back. It also comes off the back too, if you want to pull it out. Um, but it attaches to the back and then Okay, and then it comes to the front of the gun and for those who know what heavy machine guns look like a lot of the times their clips look like this um, It's belt fed so the ammo will just be fed along this belt um, Into the gun so I think it's just amazing that I found this piece and it looks great having a belt fed uh, Heavy gun instead of just not having any an ammo source, which um, I'm trying to go for a realistic here So I <laughs> I wanted to do that um, you can move it up and down as as you see. Um, this the barrels are made out of toothpick, and then I have this metal wrapped around um, the ends of the barrel. The underneath and everything um, that you see here is just more pieces of plastic and more guns, um, just pieces that I just glued together um, to form this weapon. And then the handles of the gun are handles from guns. Actually, I just angled them at a certain degree, uh, figured out what would fit in the hand, and and then ba bam you got a heavy gunner I might have to put some tips on the end of that maybe um, nah, I kinda like it as, as it is but he also has a really cool color scheme on his head I gave him these uh, of course he has the fin or the uh, the main piece going down the middle but then I gave him these swirls um, on either side I kind of was picturing like a ram when I did that when the first one it almost looked kind of horns before I put the top part or for the, the bottom part um, so I just went ahead and completed the circles and it just gives a little bit more of a different uh, character to it. Um, you're trying to make them all a little bit unique but still the same. Um, and then of course his rangefinder right there um, on the helmet. He has the neck guard. Pretty much, I mean I, it's hard to explain the same things because they have the same things. I don't want to keep repeating myself. Um, like I said there's very little um, differences like obviously the chest and a couple markings and the shorter pads are a little different. but. Um, this is my heavy gunner guys and like I said these guys are not for sale um, but I will be doing another I might make another fire squad because I know a lot of people keep asking me for them and they want to buy them and I I can't tell you but I, why but I can't sell these guys now but I will be doing um, a new fire squad I guess so if you guys are seriously interested in, in buying these I will make them because it does take time to make five figures and do a squad like this will take me some time. Um, but if you guys are interested, I will I will do that. Um, I do have some more updates coming out soon as far as um, one thing I want to talk about is custom orders because people have been recently asking me to do custom orders um, for them. So I'm still trying to work that out because I don't know if I want to go down that road um, and do that because it does take more time to do um, customs like that. But that's a talk for another video. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is my fire squad. If you like these customs, hitchhike this video. Leave me a comment. I don't know why I said that with an accent. Um, but let me know what you guys think. 
Um, thanks for watching. This is a 20 minute video. If you made it to the end, congratulations. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll put a button right up there. It'll help me out so much. And uh, you guys will be the first persons to see my video. Um, we'll get a shout out like this one right up here. And a new thing I'm doing is um, before I just put the name of the person, but I'm actually going to put a link to their channel. So um, for instance, when the shout out goes up, uh, if you click on the name, it'll take you to their channel. You can check them out because a lot of people actually have their own videos and um, their own uh, customs and stuff like that. So I figured I might as well help them out even more so they don't just see the name. They can click on it and actually go to the channel. So I'm trying to help you guys out as much as I can. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned because I'll be doing reviews on those three customs and um, some more stuff will be coming out. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. God bless you all. Have an awesome, wonderful, amazing, super fantastic day. And I will see you later.